can race this week. Beautiful. That's what we want to hear. So here you go. Uh, after this uh, introduction on a light note, and anybody has questions that you would like to ask to uh, any of these writers? David? Yeah, so start off one for Nika. Um, you've been training on road a lot more than trail compared to the other athletes. And um, typically, trail runners have stronger recovery muscles because they go for more impact than downhill running. So do you think your athlete have less of an advantage on multi-day races because you won't be able to recover as well from the downhills? Uh, I I don't think so because I I think um, the amount of hours I I train is quite a lot and I know um, how to recover from those and I think in this way I I'm in quite a good place compared to the other athletes so I, I think I will be good with uh, my recovery. I've got one for uh, Sophia. Um, so Sophia, you, you've got a taste of what it's like to catch them again, to overtake her. You've got to run behind her and in front of her on a lot of varied downhills. So does, do you think there are some races of these five where the advantage is yours? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. Um, I haven't done any of the courses, so I don't really know, but I have heard that there's a lot of, or some of the courses have some really steep sections. And after Flagstaff, I noticed that that was kind of one of my stronger things. And I was battling that with Nyanka. So maybe if, yeah, there was a really, really long, steep section, I could, we could battle it out in that. Okay. One to Sara as well, if I may. Um, so sorry, we, we know that you're a runner that struggles to do anything other than smash it. <laughs> and this is a five day series where the sensible runner holds back. Like have you have you found a pace that you think you can maintain for five days or are you going to attack in your usual um, style and just see what happens? Um, not my plan is try to finish every day and maintain in the normal and not take an attack. <laughs> so I don't think so that if they move in the uphill like who is going to attack, I, I don't think that I will follow them. I just want to be in the strong every day to take my pace and finish strong and not like <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions? Yeah? Um, are you going to start all the five races, or do you plan to skip anyone, or if you're also playing with the, with the other runners, or your strategy? I can, I'm probably not planning to do all of them. I, yeah, I decided to come here because I wanted to, like, have the opportunity to do some of the races and come to this place, and. For me, it's not the smartest decision to do all five of them. Uh, I have like an upcoming ski season, and I know that five races would really take it out of me. So I don't know which ones I'm gonna do, but I will not do all of them. That's kind of the plan. Um, at the moment, my plan is to do all five. Um, yeah. Also, this was my plan from the beginning, and um, I, when I heard that it's also possible to do less, I. Mm, I think I still want to stick to my my plan. It, I I want to to I want to see also how how it is for me to race five days, and I think I can learn also quite a lot from this. And uh, so for me, I think I will try to do all of them, and maybe it depends in the last day how I am in the qualification, maybe change to do any segment of like this, but for the moment I will try to go for the general. Okay, I will have a question since you will be racing, so you've been racing each other um, 
the whole season and you know each other, you know each other's levels, strengths and potentially weaknesses even though there's not many uh, amongst you girls but you'll be racing the open category as well and some runners coming from different countries you've never had the chance to race and some who don't necessarily also have to race every of the five days it could be all out in, uh, in one day so if anybody pops out in front and just goes really really hard what's the plan <laughs> no, I learned that I should not try to follow people if that's not the pace that I think I should be going. Um, I've learned that the hard way, um, and that it definitely benefits me to just do my own thing. Yeah, yeah I think I think I, I agree with you. I, it's also it's very tough, I think, when somebody's really going for it and you need to hold back in that sense. But I think on the other hand, I know, um, I think I know I want to come out of these five days uh, in a healthy way. And uh, yeah, I think if somebody attacks you really, maybe I don't even know if this person is just doing this for one day and that can kill me then. So probably I will just stick to my schedule. And yes, I, uh, I think the same, but. <laughs> I think for a new person it's a challenge to take the enke or go in front of her. So maybe I think the first day the national or open category is like, oh, I can't go before the enke. So maybe the people start to be crazy, but it's five days race. So uh, the goal is to finish with the two legs. Any idea what you're talking about? Uh, so just so. Thank you. And just as a clarification, if any runners is ahead of you and are in the open, they still can't compete in the elite. So they won't be stealing your potential spot. However, they won't be stealing your points yeah. ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the one thing to, to keep in mind. Do we have any other questions in the audience that is Nope.